Welcome back. With us now are seniors Derek Raritan and Aaron Tickness. Guys, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having, thanks us. For having us. So Derek, let's start with you. You guys come away with a big win against Wheaton College. <laughs> this is a really tough conference. What was going through your guys' head before that game? Uh, you know, before the game, coaches were just trying to get us prepared. We knew it was going to be a war. Uh, Wheaton's a very excellent team, and, and we knew we had to bring uh, all our energy for that game, and, and we needed it for 40 minutes, and we had guys uh, step up and make great plays, and, and we put them away like, uh, like we expected to. You know, in talking with Coach earlier, the only two losses you guys had in the regular season last year was to Wheaton College. He said that really didn't seem like a motivational factor. This is a, a new year, a new team. You guys are just trying to, you know, basically make a name for yourselves in your own way. Yeah. Um, you know, last year they got the best of us, and, and, and we kind of stressed it, but, but it was the same time, you know, we, we still need to keep our heads focused and, and where we want to go, and that's ultimately, uh, you know, to keep winning the conference championship, and, and Wheaton was a, another stepping stone in that, and, and just uh, on Wednesday, Carthage is going to be the next one. So, you know, we, we've kind of progressed on from last year, but uh, we know what we have to get, uh, what we need to get done. And one of the things you guys got done was taking care of Tyler Peters. Aaron, he came in. He was leading the, the conference in scoring. He's really a big threat. The only returner from Wheaton's starters last year. Did you guys know that he was going to be the main guy you had to watch out for? Yeah, he averaged 21 points a game, as you said. And, uh, you know, Derek came in, bummed shoulder, and locked him up. Played really good D on him. Um, but, I mean, it was a team effort. You know, Brandon Williams played full court defense really well. And um, it was all just a great team effort that game. And what do you think uh, about his skill set was, you know, difficult for you guys, if anything, or what, what do you think you guys did well that was able to prevent him from scoring so much? Oh, well, he is. He's a great ball handler. You know, he, he makes good decisions, threw a couple of great passes in that game in the highlights from uh, earlier. But yeah, no, he's, Derek's got the size and Brandon's got the quickness. So between those two, you throw both of them at him all game. It's tough if you're the only guy on the team that's doing everything. So. Well, you guys made sure he didn't really do much. Yeah. The Cardinals faced <clears throat> off against the conference's leading scorer in Tyler Peters, but held the Wheaton guard in check. We take a look at how they were able to contain him in this week's What's the Word? We knew that Tyler Peters would be a, a, a threat to us out there. You know, he, he was returning, you know, he's averaging like 20 points, you know, so we knew that we had to come out there and really put the pressure on him and make him make turnovers and miss shots. Coming in Tyler Peters, he's maybe the top player in the conference, numbers wise, and he can do a lot of things, posting up, back to the basket kind of game, which is impressive for a point guard. So and I think Derek did a great job on him. I don't know what the stat line was, but yeah, he did amazing on him, and that kind of set the tempo for the game. They couldn't really get in their flow of the offense. All right, so Derek, you were one of the guys that had to key in on Tyler Peters, and you, you came into the season with a lot of expectations. You know, first team All-American, a little bit of accolades there, and, and landing Gamble fourth team. But really, it seems that anybody on this Cardinal team can take over a game. Guys aren't just relying on you. Yeah, I think that's what makes us such a dangerous team is is we have so many great options out there uh, on the court. You know, uh, everyone plays defense and, and everyone can score the ball. So, uh, you know, if some guys aren't hitting, everyone else, you know, can step up their game and, and, and chip in. And, and that's what's got us this point, or to this point, and that's why we still haven't uh, lost a game yet. And Aaron, you seem to like fly under the radar. You don't get as many of the preseason accolades or even the postseason accolades that some might think you deserve, but do you sort of take that as motivation and use that when you're on the court? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, but first and foremost, it's not about me. It's about the team, and, uh, you know, it's, it's cool Derek and Landon got those things. I mean, it, who wouldn't like to have that? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it, it, if, I, if I'm a first-team All-American, but we don't win a national championship, or we don't, don't progress that far, it doesn't really matter at the end. You all, and all you really remember is conference championship, national championship. So. And it seems to open things up for you and other guys like Vince Kamek, maybe even Brandon Williams. And it showed in the second half of that Wheaton game where all of a sudden they were leaving you guys open behind the arc. And a couple threes later, all of a sudden the Cardinals were in the lead. Yeah, no, I know. I love playing with Derek and Landon. You know, you find Derek mid range, he's knocking that shot down. You have Landon down low. They have to respect his game. You know, Brandon's slashing and Vince is our shooter. So, you know, we have got like so many different options, which leaves it open for me sometimes and can kick it to them. So, I mean, just much easier than people really think it is. <laughs> and the majority of the core is back this year. I mean, you got you two guys, obviously, Vince Kamek, Landon Gamble, Charlie Rosenberg, but a couple newcomers have really helped around this team. In particular, Jack Brichette, who was on the team a couple years ago, and Brandon Williams. What's it like having Jack back in the lineup? That's great. Uh, you know, Jack brings energy every night. He wants to work hard and, 
and he's, he's proven that and he did his freshman year and now he is again uh, this year. He's, you know, he's an animal on the glass and, and he gets in there and, and battles and that's what we need. We need somebody that can step up and be, and be the tough guy on this team and that's what Jack does. And obviously a real long season ahead as we touched on with Coach earlier. You guys are just barely scratching the surface of your conference schedule and you know you guys are going to have your work cut out for you, especially with four teams in the top 25 in Wheaton, Augustana, but first you guys got to take care of care of business against Carthage. Yeah, uh, Carthage would be tough, you know, they, they pressure the ball. Uh, we've had, we've been known to have some turnover problems, so, uh, you know, it'll be another good test and, and we need to keep getting better as a team, you know, uh, coaches tell us that every day. Our defense needs to keep improving, our rebounding, and, and uh, you know, if any of those things we slip up, you know, any, any team in this conference is good enough to beat us. Just that's just how the conference is. And before the conference schedule started, you guys were picked first by the coaches, Aaron, to win this all. But last few years, you guys have seemed to be the dark horses. Is this target on your back going to affect you guys? Are you guys staying focused each game, just trying to do the best you can? Uh, well, preparation hasn't ever changed from when I've got here to now. I mean, just because you were picked first doesn't mean you get any special privileges. You still prepare as if you know you weren't picked first. You, you work hard. You're actually working harder now than we have ever done before. So yeah, I don't think there's not, no real special privileges. You know, in talking with you guys after <clears throat> the game, you guys are the two seniors, so you've, you, you've really seen this program grow and Aaron when you were a freshman to where you are now how much have things changed just in the way the team prepares and the skill set on the floor well I actually transferred in as a sophomore but when I as soon as I first got here it was it was so much different you know non-conference there was no fans no no real fan base at all and then it started to grow towards the end of that year and then last year when like, Kevin Gillespie was our senior and we made that nice little run we got a big fan base towards the end and then this year it's just been incredible I mean fans have been awesome so the, the change has definitely been there, but um, I mean, you, you give credit to the coaches, you know, mm -hmm. they're the ones who really pushed us get, to get us to this point. You know, and it's hard once you reach the top of the mountain to stay focused and stay hungry. You guys are nowhere near the top of the mountain, but midway through the season, you're ranked number one. How is that affecting you guys and trying to stay hungry and keeping motivated to make another playoff run? Yeah, I mean, it, it's tough, uh, you know, when you haven't lost or you can't get really yelled at for anything you're wrong yet, but, uh, you know, the coaches... <laughs> I'm sure the I'm oh, sure coach can find The coaches, no, you, they, you, yeah. they remind you <laughs> and, and make sure our head's in the right place. And, uh, you know, it's just every team wants to beat us, and, and that's how it should be, you know. It, it's great to get that challenge every night out, and, uh, you know, that's why we play basketball is because we love the game and we love getting everyone's best shot and proving that, uh, you know, we're a little better. Well, we hope to watch you guys continue to rise to the challenge the rest of the year. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Coming up next, we'll check in with North Central College Sports Information Director Clark Tusher and see what's going on in other Cardinal sports in action. Don't go away.